right, this is my last chance to get the record today. Please. I've had two great runs died about RNG, and I've had two, and I've had uh, two or three runs that were just barely, that had good RNG that were just barely not good enough for record. I mean, I have no way of like verifying that, but I'm pretty sure they're like 735 or 736, maybe. Oh, but I've been doing this a little for a while. <laughs> I feel like no matter what full game, if I did a full game run right now, I definitely get a gold split on on this level. Because holy cow, I've been at it for a while. I've gotten pretty darn good at this level. The ending is still rough, but I'm I'm pretty consistently getting good runs here. All right, so this is a good time to explain what I've been up to. Um, I know you guys think that all I ever do is play this game, but trust me, uh, I've been a little busy with college and stuff. I really have been wanting to play this game more. I haven't, I'm not bored of it yet. It's been almost a year since I started speedrunning this game. Definitely gone through like a month period where I didn't post a run, like now I guess. But I've never really been like, ugh, I hate Zach. I'm so bored with Zach. But anyways, but when uh, me and five other people are sharing the same TV, so whenever uh, somebody else is using the TV, and I want to play Zack and Nikki, I've been trying to get Dolphin working so I can do more tasks, and we finally got it working. I even did a little bit of a Frost Breath task um, before realizing I forgot to start the input recording, and so I need to start over with that. So. No current progress on a task, sadly. But <laughs> soon, hopefully. One, two, three, four. How come I lost HQ there? I never missed it. Oh, probably because I did too early, maybe? The game doesn't like that? Well, it's fast, so. Direct game, what do you know? Ah, oh, barely wasn't fast enough. Dang. Man, I haven't I actually have not messed that up in quite a while. Alright, now this is really my last attempt. I really want to get this. I've been doing it for so long. Last run wasn't very good anyways, because I kind of skipped a cutscene really late. I keep forgetting that like right after the rain, first cutscene, that I need to skip. Gosh, I'm so sick of watching cutscenes in this level though. discovered with um with pulling the lever is that like it seems like it's really consistently fast to move the Wii remote back and forth like a senti saw when pulling the lever um that served me pretty well today whoa that cutscene did looks different than usual <laughs> guess when you stand in certain spots it zooms <laughs> that's really cool it be zooming Yay, remember the cutscene, alright. How do they have to jump six times when nothing's going on? You'll notice that when Zack picks up a pot, if it doesn't have a snake in it, he can pick it up from any angle, but if, he, but if it does have a snake in it, then he has to pick it up from the front.
I still got 10,000 HQ there. I guess you really just can't do it early. All right, last, last attempt. I really want to get this. <laughs> just one more attempt, just one more attempt. One more game, one more game. Oh, snap. I just realized that there's some homework I forgot to do. It's okay, I can stay up a little late. <laughs> so this is definitely, definitely my last attempt. Assuming it ended immediately. Oh man, just so much waiting. Glitch again. That was really cool. The weird cutscene thing. Maybe you just need to like stand towards the edge here. See if we can get another zoom. That was cool. Do it again. Come on, Iron Maiden. Do a flip. Do a trick. <laughs> yeah. Cool. The cutscene changes depending on where Zach's standing. That's neat. why we have to wait for the Iron Maidens to jump six times while nothing is happening. Yay, first try. I would say that's a good omen, but last time I said that, the run did not succeed, because you're not going to see it, because it didn't succeed. <laughs> One, two, three, wait until they're jumping into the air for the sixth time to, to for it for this cutscene to happen immediately. So darn difficult. Wait, oh, move Zack when that cutscene activates. I never really noticed that. Alright, yellow. Okay, I need to remember to uh, sit down during this part of the level because I've been standing up, so I'm like level with a sensor bar, which is right below the TV. But, um, I'm getting a little tired of standing. But in this level, we're not doing anything half the time. I've run into things to talk about. <laughs> Something you don't really notice as a casual viewer is that my spiel about tassing and what I've been doing, I've said it about 20 times today. <laughs> I've, been, I've been at this for a little while. It's not that big of a deal, I don't mind. I don't need sympathy, but. <laughs> it's funny though. Maybe one day I'll just release a whole recording of me and it'll be so awkward to watch because you'll just hear me repeat the same thing over and over again. Pick it out of there, Zach. Yeah, the pots really mess with Zach's movement, so when you're moving around, after you put the bomb in the right spot, just like, just stay put. Even if you're like standing over here, you're not really as close as you'd like to be to where the frog's gonna respawn, just stay put. It's not worth it. Zach's movement could get messed up and then you die. 
you're trying to walk over here while they're moving, and then, oh man, for some reason, Zack decides to walk up. I didn't any for some reason die there, and when you die here and use the revive ticket, it was like a minute and a half or something. Because it was the red one, I remember. And so you have to do all three of them again. <laughs> it's painful. Alright, probably the best exorcism we get. Alright, nice. I clicked on the chest. You have no idea how many runs have died to me misclicking and then walking behind the chest. That's, I just, that's the worst feeling ever in this game. Yeah, I always play this cuts and save because I've messed it, up, messed it up a few too many times. Way more cutscenes here than you think, which is ironic because the rest of the level there's like way more cutscenes that you think, or like way uh, less skippable cutscenes than you think. Alright, nice, that was good. Yeah, like why is this a cutscene? That's kind of weird. It doesn't follow the logic of the rest of the game. Yeah, and like why is that a cutscene? Like, it's kind of weird. Yeah, and then the rest of the level it's like, oh no, you can't skip any of these cutscenes. They're essential for understanding the level. Alright, please get good RNG. I've been at this for so long. I just want to go on a good run. Please! Oh, yes. We got good RNG. Holy cow. Finally. Yeah, the H key you get there is so inconsistent. Today I got 50. I do the exact same thing every time. I immediately start ringing the bell. Bang, never stop. And I got 15,000 HQ once. And then once I got 40,000 HQ. It's like, what? It's so frustrating at 100%. Like, if you get 15,000 HQ here for 100%, like, you gotta reset. <laughs> we do not understand how it works. <laughs> like, if you just only ring when you have to, like, you, you still get, like, you still lose a bunch of HQ. Maybe you have to wait for them to, like, start attacking you or something? I don't know. Oh my gosh. If this isn't world record, then I don't know what it is. That was pretty solid. That was probably, I think I might have had a run that died to RNG that was better than this. But I think, man, I think this better be it. I've been playing this level for, like, over an hour. Very sick of it. <laughs> There's so much waiting. <laughs> I'm glad my glorious return, speedrunning this game after a while, um, is like such a boring level. <laughs> Probably to watch too. I mean, I, I don't understand what levels are fun and not fun to watch because I just like watching people play this game because I don't get to do it very often. <laughs> so, yeah, I'd watch someone grind this level. Yes! 7.33! Yes! Oh my gosh, finally! It's not even a tie! Okay, that is a that is a really solid run. I know Bowser Jr. has not been playing this game very much, and my Phantom's also pretty rusty. Um, on the day I'm recording this is the day after he had a 100% run that failed, and so yeah, he's kind of rusty. Um, he also got really bad luck. I don't want to knock him too hard. He really got... He, he would have got world record if he had had slightly better luck. But anyways, <laughs> thanks for watching. Check out my Twitch if you want to see me play this, do full game runs, or sometimes ILs live. Or if you want to watch me TAS, I might stream that if I'm like, man, I got three hours to burn and I'm going to TAS. Um, I'm in a dorm now, so sometimes the stream quality is not great, especially when I'm TASing, because all I have is my it's my laptop now. I don't have a PC with a graphics card and stuff. So, stream quality might be down, but if you want to watch me play Zack and Wiki, then, well, there's only one place you can do that. Live, that is. Okay, thanks for watching. It took me forever to get this. And, uh, see you in the next world record, hopefully.